Okay, we're gonna uh, do the maintenance on our chlorine injection quill. Now, just before we start, we have to isolate the system. So we come over to our pump skid. We drain the pressure off valve V921. Slowly open it and bleed pressure back into our chlorine batch tank. You verify that there's no pressure left on your gauge right here. And once we come here, we have to drain the water out of our pipe from this point to below our chlorine injection. Otherwise, water will come puking out of there. So we drain it down here at the bottom. And we're gonna make sure we don't drain all this. We'll close off our booster pump. Oh. Pretend that's closed, and we drain the water out of this line. Now, I believe we have drained enough water out of there already. So we'll close this valve again. Put on our safety equipment as we'll be opening up the chlorine dosing line. And we'll also close this valve to make sure we don't drain any line fluid out of here that we don't need. So we begin by unscrewing the black cap. Put off, you check in here for any damage on your tube. You got a nice little seal on there. Sometimes from time to time, you're gonna have to cut this off and redo a new end on there. So as you back this out, there may be water still coming out of here. So you just grab your bucket. We don't want chlorine spilling everywhere. Okay, this is our chlorine injection quill. Now there are many varying sizes, shapes, and uh, purposes for the injection quill. Uh, for this one, it's pretty simple. You always gotta visually inspect your O-ring on the bottom here, make sure there's no cracks, seals. You slide this out, and then watch out, there's a spring in there. So our spring stays inside there, and inside here is a little ball. We clean this ball off, inspecting for any chips, cracks, or any deformations that may not cause this to seal. The black may not come off as it's uh, minerals from the stainless steel spring. It's in here too. You also want to make sure that this isn't corroded through or broken. Uh, we need to make sure we have the right pressure on here. And I would do this, check this at least once a year to make sure it's been working or replace it once a year, just as good. We put our spring back on top of the ball and our cap goes over top of it and then it can be reinserted and thread it. We do not want to put wrenches on this as the plastic will crack and that was the brown o-rings for is to the seal. So good and hand tight. We put our line back on. And once that's on we reopen our valve and then we recharge our system, turn the water system back on to purge any water out of our line that we may have created. And that's how you change a quill. Okay and on these chlorine injection dosing quills, um, you want to monitor to make sure that they're not plugging up on the inside of them. So what you might notice is if you have to keep increasing your pump speeds to get the same dose, maybe uh, might be an indicator that your quill is, needs to be cleaned and or removed or replaced. Because if you start to get that lining in there, you'll take more pressure and more fluid to be able to push through anything that's plugging up in your tip of your quill.